In the last video, I showed you how to use a VLOOKUP to efficiently extract data from a big table. So I'm going to do that again here, and I'll just go through it quickly because I showed it, I talked about it in more detail in the last one. So if I want to look up the adjusted close price on a certain date, then I give it the cell reference to where I have the date. I give it the range of the table with all of the data. I happen to know that the adjusted close price is the seventh column. So I put a seven, and I want it to look up the date exactly. So I put false. So there, it looked up the adjusted close price for the first trading day. Remember that we needed to lock the range of cells with the lookup, because that's not changing, even if we drag the formula. So now I can efficiently look up the adjusted close price on all of these other dates that I have in this table. And I can do a formula here in this dashboard to calculate the growth since the first date. So I just want the difference between what it is now and what it was originally divided by what it was originally. And I want that as a percentage. So that's over 5,000% because growing from 1.73 to over 89 is a lot of growth. Now I can't quite drag this formula the way it is. I need to lock the row for cell uh, B4 because when I drag it, I still want it to refer to, uh, to, that first, uh, to that first entry in this table. I always want it to refer to the first date when I'm calculating growth. So now I can drag that. And you see how some things adjusted and some things didn't. And if I drag it up, um, then I get the answer that it grew zero. It grew zero from the from the moment that it started. So that actually makes sense. So if I had invested, let's say I invested around five thousand dollars on this on this first date in the table, then I can use all of my other calculations to find out how much the investment would be worth on the other dates. So that value, how much it's worth on January 3rd, 2000, is equal to the original value times 1 plus the growth rate. Remember that we need that 1 in there to, to capture the original value, and then the other term captures how much it actually grew, the value added. So that's, that is uh, a big a big leap. I can't quite drag this formula. I need to lock that original value. So I need to lock that in row 4. And now I can drag it down. So check here. So the value on January 2nd, 2009 is the original value times 1 plus the growth rate to that date. 